back, boys. We are back. What? Yo, that was way louder than it was. Oh my god. And we're back for not the best reason, so. But we'll get to that. How's it going, guys? This is a video that I really didn't want to make for like another two years or so, but this is just completely super very stupid. That's exactly how I feel about this problem. The first, as you guys can see, she's drivable, okay? She can run. Like, she runs like a normal car. There's nothing wrong with her. Like, well, not nothing wrong with her, but you know, she drives normally. Here's the problem, and uh, yeah, here's the problem, guys. So actually, let's go ahead and take a little step back. If you guys think about all the videos that I've made of what, what has been wrong with my 370Z and what happened to it like a couple months after I got it, you know what I'm talking about. And today I'm going to talk about the notorious, the horrible, horrific, most hated thing on the 370Z and that is the clutch slave cylinder. This is my second one guys. My second clutch slave cylinder that I'm going through. On the comments below guys, I want to see if this problem is as common as people make it to be or as I make it to be. If your clutch slave cylinder has ever gone out, let me know in the comments below. Let me know. Or your clutch or whatever. So I think a week and a half ago or two weeks when I did my oil change, I was like, oh, let me check the um, oil. Not, not oil, sorry. Let me check the brake fluid that I usually check. After the incident happened, I usually always check it. And I noticed that it was low. Like, it was a minimum. And I'm going to show you guys. I filled it up yesterday. And you're going to see. Okay, look at this. Look at this. I filled up. I filled it up yesterday, right? Look. Look at this. I filled this up yesterday, that's maximum and that's minimum. Literally, that's how fast it's leaking, look. Maximum, minimum. Yeah, that's basically how I'm able to drive, guys. I gotta fill up that stupid um, brake fluid every day or two, so, yeah. I literally have to drive around with this. This is not for brake fluid. I literally gotta drive around with this and just in case something horrible happens, I'm ready for it, but, yep, that's, that's what's wrong with Brittany, guys. That is super frustrating, honestly. <laughs> but it's whatever, I mean, things happen. And I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I really wanna talk to you guys about this. As you know, I got the intakes for the car. Oh, by the way, let me show you guys. They are doing great. I mean, nothing wrong with them. I am, though, after I, actually, I'm gonna get to that point later. But after I do, what I'm gonna talk about is that I'm gonna go ahead and order the original um, still in Gen 3 filters. As of now, she's gonna stay like that with the bumper a little bit off. But I mean, it's nothing horrible, guys. You guys really like that video, me installing that on Britney, so that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for that. And, but yeah, filters are good. Intakes are great. I think she sounds a little more roady. Roady? Roady? You guys know what I mean. But she sounds great, and yeah, let's get to what I was trying to talk about. As you guys know, I bought the still in Gen 3s. I was gonna really go big on mods, tune it, do all this and that, and then the thing with the clutch happened. So that's gonna really put me back. Put me. <laughs> that's gonna really put me back, guys. Like you guys know how much a clutch, and I'm gonna. I plan on buying the heavy duty um, slave cylinder from Z Speed, I believe. It's either C1 or Z Speed. I plan on buying that which is like double the price of the normal one cost not including the clutch I'm gonna be spending quite a bunch of money so everything that has saved up for Brittany and the mods down the drain but yeah Brittany is finally getting a brand new clutch a brand new flywheel and a brand new heavy-duty slave cylinder you know and you guys want to know what's really cool and exciting about this guess it's gonna do the whole thing this guy and guess it's gonna learn with me you guys so this is gonna be a very cool um, experience for me and you. I'm gonna go ahead, I think my friend, if you guys remember the Supercharged 370Z, um, the mechanic, he's actually told me that he, I can come by the shop and we can work on it together, show you guys how to do it, me learning how to do it. So I'm gonna turn this bad situation into something cool and show you guys how to change your clutch and all that. And myself, I'm gonna learn a lot. So super excited for that, super excited. Also, another thing I really wanted to ask you guys, if you have a, like an aftermarket clutch in the Z, let me know in the comments below what clutch and flywheel combo you have or what clutch you put and by the time you guys watch this video I probably already ordered everything but it's a good idea just to have like a bunch of options and, and maybe some of you guys bought the same thing I did so yeah let me know yeah I'm very 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 annoyed for Britney's 
not doing the best right now. I know a little thing I want to talk about. Channel's doing really good. Expect the video, keep expecting videos every Tuesday and Friday. Guys, when I say I'm gonna do something, every Tuesday and Friday you're gonna get a video. Also, if you didn't watch the last video about the Corvette, it's really it's a really good video, honestly. I kinda just switched things up just so you guys don't get bored of that little girl right there. It was a really fun video, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, and after we get the whole clutch thing situated, don't worry guys, we're gonna go back to the normal <laughs> plan for modding Britney. I think I asked you guys what I was gonna get, and a lot of you said an exhaust. Because if I do get headers, my exhaust is pretty restrictive, so it's not really gonna work. So, I already have like an exhaust I'm gonna get. Try to comment below what you think it is. <laughs> but yeah, I already have an exhaust option I'm gonna go with, probably. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna go in exhaust after I do the whole clutch thing. But yeah, that's basically all I really wanna talk to you guys about today. The still Gen 3s are doing great. That is what's wrong with Brittany. It's honestly kind of a big deal because I could get stranded on the road, literally. Like, if I leave right now and the leak gets worse, I could literally get stranded on the road. Like, I changed that liquid literally yesterday in the afternoon and it's already on minimum so that's really scary but yeah i really gotta get that fixed i'm probably gonna order everything today which is thursday look bros hopefully nothing bad happens <laughs> but yeah with that said guys this video is coming to an end it was just like a little update video on what's going on with britney why she's broken yeah guys i'm sad too about it i, I really am <laughs> but anyways share with your friends guys let's keep going the channel I just look at her and I'm like so sad that this is actually happening. Anyways, share with your friends. Leave a like if you thumbs up. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and you want Brittany to get better. Come on, bros. Let's keep going on the channel, guys. We're going really fast and thank you guys so much for that. I honestly appreciate every single one of you. New videos every Tuesday and Friday, don't forget. And yeah, with that said, from Broken Brit and I, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Peace.